Imagine for just a moment, every single one of you were gathered on the floor of the House of Representatives and you were all members of Congress. And you have a bill that comes before you for a vote that would make it so that frozen pizza qualifies under the daily nutritional requirements of fruits and vegetables for kids in public schools. How many of you would vote yes? How many of you would vote no? This happened. This was one of the first votes that I took as a member of Congress. Exactly. That was my face, too. <laughs> first of all, this is what Congress is doing. And I had conversations with a lot of people on the House floor that day who'd been there a lot longer than I had, asking the question you're probably thinking is, how in the world does this happen and why are our members of Congress doing the work of the big manufacturers that make these frozen pizzas that go into our school cafeterias? Bobby talked about corruption and he talked about the influence of big money in our regulatory agencies and in our politics. They are very directly connected. Does anyone want to guess? I mean, obviously I voted no. Do you think it passed or failed? This is what we're dealing with here. And this is why what we are doing here tonight matters so much. In who we elect as president, as someone in Donald Trump who's committed to rooting out this corruption and bringing Bobby Kennedy onto his team to actually execute this. And you saw Sam Brown here who came, who's running for U.S. Senate here in Nevada. It's having people in the House and the Senate who are committed to this same cause. What does Make America Healthy Again actually means? It's things like this. It's things like friends of mine who are going for treatment at the VA. And I unfortunately can't even tell you how many of them have shared this story with me going and sharing about the challenges they are having, whether it's post-traumatic stress or chronic injuries or chronic pain, and they are literally given a sack full of pills. A sack full of pills. One is to treat this, this one is to treat the, the, the consequences of that one, and this one is to treat the consequences of that one, the negative impacts of this one or that one. And, and we wonder why still we are seeing so many of our veterans feel so hopeless to the point that they take their lives. What we are talking about here in this incredibly historic opportunity in, in re-electing President Trump to the White House is to change this sick care system into truly a health care system that cares about us and that sees and understands what a healthy life actually is. It is, yes, our physical well-being. It is nutrition. It is exercise. It is what does it take to live a truly healthy life? It is mental health and well-being. And, it, and foundationally, it is the spiritual health and well-being of who we are as people and how we are faring. So much emphasis is placed on gross domestic product, and you hear these statistics being spouted about how successful we are as a country based on employment numbers and GDP and all of these other things, but are we really truly a happy country? Are we a fulfilled country? What are we truly valuing in our society? In order to bring about this change, yes, it requires a complete new clean slate of new leadership that is committed to these principles and these values. But that only happens with us if we do our part. That only happens if not only you vote, but you're bringing 10 or 20 people with you who are committed to truly making America healthy again, strong again, and peaceful and free again.